February 4th. That's a swamp down there, and this is a hardwoods beach, ideal fisher habitat. Here's a fisher track. You can see the, every now and then you can see four feet, but they, I don't know, there's about three feet in between each leap, but uh, he's actually going this way. They have that, that typical uh, gait of any mustelid mink. where it looks like two tracks that are offset but there's actually you know four tracks hitting there but he went down in there and probably still going i'll show you some weasel and mink tracks here too ideal habitat for all of them here's one of my culverts same day i saw these tracks i thought they were mink i'll show you a close-up up here comes out of this culvert this is typical weasel country you know Blue strife, cattails, switchgrass, cedars, and hemlocks. You can get long tails or short tails here. But he comes out over here. You can see that perfect track I'm telling you about the two. Right there, boom. He keeps going. But again, about the same distance between a weasel track as a, a fisher. They take about a three-foot leap, especially in the open. But probably in here hunting red squirrels, rabbits, whatever. But... These are very typical weasel locations in the north. Can't tell if it's a long tail or a short tail, but I would bet it's a long tail, but not sure. Anyhow, weasel you. There's another weasel that came out of this brush. Look at all this in here. Came out of here and you can see there's one, two, three. So he came over here across the road. Kind of neat, they do this a lot. And he went in a tunnel right there. He went out of the snow. A lot of the mice. You know, they only have about six or seven inches of snow here. Um, this, this is all weasel tracks here. He's going back and forth. Went under a, went in the snow there too. So a lot of rabbit tracks here. These are all brambles and a lot of blackberries and wild raspberries in here. A lot of rabbits this year. But here's another one I can tell. This is a weasel. Just by the, the distance. There's, there's no there's no squirrels out here you know there's not enough trees out here in the open so these are all weasel tracks probably the same one going back and forth must have lived you same day so here's another weasel i wanted to show this because he's coming this way he's going that way a lot of times they drag their tails you can see a line mark in there and uh rabbits i'm assuming but uh, a lot of times like mice you'll see their tails dragging here's another one probably same guy you can see that staggered step right there every mink every weasel every fisher track has that same gait looks like they only have two feet but the uh, back feet and front feet or back feet land in the front feet kind of but uh It's, last night was the coldest night, so everything, this place is blue with coyote and fox and fisher and weasel tracks. Everything was looking for calories last night. Um, it was minus 20 real temperature this morning when we woke up, so it was well below that with the wind chill. But uh, February 4th, 2023, it's Gina's birthday, so we're just hiking out back. February 5th, I'm tapping maple trees today. We've had a 30 degree swing in temperature and uh, it's gonna be good all week. So this might be the earliest I've ever tapped. Um, this is another one of my culverts, obviously. I got a mink that came through last night. I don't know if you can see that. You know, Even though I keep saying the mink and the weasel and the fisher all have the same gait, which they do, you know, maybe for learning purposes, the best thing I could say is, you see those down there? See here, you can see where all four feet are hitting, but in the deeper snow, it looks like two sometimes, but he went through the culvert and he popped out the other side. For size differential, I'd say a weasel track in the snow, I can cover up with a tennis ball. And I'd say a mink track I can usually cover up with a 
you know, a baseball. Softball would be a little big unless he's taking four strides. Then a fisher's probably more like a volleyball. Um, so again, same exact gait. This is kind of cool. He dragged his tail there, went under that bank, popped out down there and kept on a going. So be real easy to catch mink right here, but I'm after maple syrup now. So tennis ball, baseball, volleyball, weasel, mink, fisher.